it's Deanna here and we are here to make um, a, 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 a flying geese block that is for the Live Well, Live Strong quilt right over here. And the Live Well, Live Strong quilt has 26 blocks about health and wellness for women. And, um, and this week we are making the block that has to do with freedom. So we went ahead and, we, and I designed this block to be some flying geese block because um, I just love how they fly and they fly so free and they're just so amazing. And so to me, um, flying geese signify some freedom. So that is what this part of this quilt is about. We, um, the, the quilt that, um, the original quilt with the 17 colorway has it with the green and white as the, the design of this block right over here. You can see it just a little bit ways over there. I just made one of them. I'm doing a version that is black and white, and I'm really excited about this version of the quilt. I think it's going to be just very outstanding. But tonight, I'm going to make one with you guys because I'm also doing a version of this quilt that is in salmon and um, and coral colors, and so it's more of a of a coral ombre type look. So um, so let's go ahead and let's get started on this. But let me go ahead and show you for those of you guys that are here live. Stay on here and um, be sure to let me know that you're here by making comments and things like that so that I know that, um, because we're gonna have a prize of either I'm sorry for the things I said while I was unpicking, um, quilting is my cardio, or measure twice, cut once, um, little zipper pouch. So I've got these as some um, prizes. I've got, done a live video and I wanna make sure that I can see um, any comments or whatever, but, um, but what I'm doing is um, I just did a live on Facebook, which stays. I do a live on YouTube every Tuesday. And I also did, did a live this evening on Instagram. So explaining how to do this block. And it's in support of the quilt pattern that is right here, the Live Well, Live Strong quilt pattern. So it has 26 blocks about health and wellness for women. And this is one of the blocks. So our first block that we did, let me go ahead and show you the ones that we did so far. Let me see what I have laying where. Well, last week's block was positive. So there is another block on how to make the positive plus sign block. And then we did our mindful block, which was last the week before that. And then we did our leisure. Oh, I dropped some down here. That's too cute. Okay, I get too excited when I'm videotaping. So, but then we did a leisure block, which is right here about taking time out for ourselves and each week because that fuels up, fuels us and gives us more strength. And the first block that we did was just a basic half square triangle. And that one is about fueling and having adequate sleep and water and those types of things. So, but let's get busy with the block that is the ombre color, and I'm, it is the um, flying geese block, which is this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the techniques that I put in the pattern of how to make this block. So let me go ahead and give you a quick little tutorial on making a flying geese block. I'd love to know how you guys make yours. Since there is only one flying geese block in this quilt, um, we are doing this more of the traditional way rather than the fabric saving way because it's not really fabric saving when there's only two flying geese block in there. So I'm, I've gone ahead and I've explained how to do it in more of a traditional way. So let me go ahead and move the camera so that you can see what I'm doing on the cutting mat. So hold on for just one moment and move this down. Okay, let me make sure this doesn't go flying away. Ah! What is too loose? This is, oh, I know what's happening there. Okay, excuse me, guys. I'm very sorry, that little top of that. Okay, and now let me bring this down. Okay, so you can see right here that I've got two rectangles for this block right here, and then there are four squares. So on these four squares, what I'm going to do, and the four squares I'm using are white squares. So just to make things more obvious for on when I'm on the video, I'm going to take my white square. So normally I would use a pencil or a friction pen or something like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark a line from point to point on this um, white square right there. 
So let's go ahead and do that on each one of these. And um, we're gonna go ahead and just stitch, I'm um, just sew that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch exactly on that, that blue line. So there's four of these. So we're gonna have four different um, blocks. So Corey just got home and I broke something today. And I think he went to the store. I think he was kind of disturbed by what I broke. And because uh, I had an accident, well, yeah. Yeah, I, I misunderstood something. And I think I can hear him building something out there for me to hopefully not break as many things. We're gonna have to see what he bought. Um, it's pretty funny. Okay, so I've got my four squares with my line on there. I am using a pen so it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. I'm now going to line up this pen in the corner. Isn't Corey a good man? I tell you, he's the best ever. So now I'm going to put a pin right here just so that this stays in place while I'm stitching. I'm saying that you went and got something so I don't maybe break something again. Although I haven't declared publicly what I broke. Okay, so, cause I'm kind of embarrassed. So I'm gonna stitch right here on that blue line so I can hear him. Let me see, I don't, I don't see any comments yet. You guys make some comments for me so I can see. Let me see if you guys are there. Um, cause I do have a prize for you guys. So we're gonna give away one of these bags to somebody, measure twice, cut once. Quilting is my cardio, or I'm sorry for the things I said while I was unpicking. Okay, so let's go ahead and get stitching. And I'm also going to string feed this. Okay, there we go. We've got Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Okay, good, because I can't give it away to you if I can't see that you're here. So um, I don't know, maybe I can hit tap that. Okay, so I'm gonna string feed these through. I'm going to stitch pretty much on the line that I inked. All right, I am using white thread for this entire colorful quilt. Um, some people have asked me what color thread I'm using. Can you hear Corey making noise out there? I can hear him. I, and you know what, he said he got something and I'm just very curious what he got. I'm very fascinated. Maybe I'll have to do like a story. I will have um, some more live videos tomorrow. I have to have it because I'm doing a new blog post um, about the baby shower and everything that we made for the baby with instructions on how we did it. Okay, so I string fud those through. Go ahead and pull that off and let me show you. So you can see my stitching line with the white thread right here and how I stitched kind of on that blue line right there. So you can see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and cut these apart. So this is for the Live Well, Live Strong quilt. Now we're gonna go ahead and trim off the excess fabric right here, um, just a quarter inch of away from the blue line or the stitching line that you had. Now, of course, I've got a white stitching line. I can see it, you guys probably can't. Um, let's go ahead and, and do that. So this is what we're doing right here. So you can see, now when you fold this up, this gives you one side of your flying geese block. I like to push my seams upward. Um, I know that doesn't kind of go, you could, you could open these seams, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and push them upward so I've got a little bit more of a point up there. So let me go ahead and press these and we'll do the other side. Okay, let's see if this, the iron is still hot and that's fantastic for us. All right, so there we go. We've got those two up there. Now let's go ahead and stitch on the other side. Love the flying geese box. Martha, I love these two. And on the Live Well, Live Strong quilt, the flying geese blocks represent freedom because it's really important to have freedom for our own personal health and wellness. So if you think about the extreme, of living in a war, worn, torn country where there's lots of bombing and, and things going on, you can see that that would affect your health and your wellness. So once again, I'm gonna string feed these again, just right over here, that would um, affect your health and wellness. But there are things that we can do in our personal lives to, to so that we have more freedom and that we go ahead and have 
additional uh, build health and wellness for ourselves as women with freedom in our lives. So one of those things might be um, having a healthy body so that when you do get sick or, or ill, that you'll be able to fight off that illness. Um, that would be a good one to have. Um, one could be, we don't buy too much fabric, so then we have debt. Um, great name for the flying geese, I agree. Um, so freedom is really important for our own personal health and wellness because it can really add a lot of stress to our lives. Now I'm gonna just trim these right here like this. So you can see I'm just trimming right along that line. And then that finishes off this, this flying geese. So you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna press it real nicely. And let me go ahead and trim this one. We'd normally do this with a rotary blade, but I want you guys to be able to see exactly how that works. And I'm gonna press these back again. And then I'm gonna show you how to join these two blocks together. So be sure to let me know that you're here because with comments, we're gonna, someone's gonna win one of these bags it's gonna be i'm sorry for the things i said while i was unpicking quilting is my cardio or measure twice cut once so let's go ahead and put i'm gonna press these out and let me go ahead and make those look beautiful okay so our original blocks that we made i did this one over on facebook the green and the white and then this one i did on instagram tonight as a live video and then this one I'm doing right here. And this is the one that we're doing for YouTube. So there are, I am, there is the colorful version of this quilt right behind me, but I'm doing one in an ombre color that is um, just the salmon type colors. This is the bright colorful one. And then I'm doing one as black and white. So let's talk about how to get these points to match. All right, so see how this matches right here. So let's go ahead and go over these. Hi, Liz! I know, I love all these colors and I love this ombre one too. I just, I'm gonna have so many of these quilts. So let's go ahead and look at this. What we're gonna actually do is, let's bring this maybe up here. Well, let's go with this one right here because let me show you how to troubleshoot something. So you can see how this has not finished off exactly perfect right there. You can see there's a little bump right there in the fabric. I'm gonna put this one as my lower one. This one up here has actually got a nice clean finish right up there. So, but we're gonna go ahead and lay this one on top of that. And I am then gonna flip this over to show you what to do to make that match. So I would hide my mistakes on this under carriage of one because I don't want to have to worry about it when I'm squaring up the block and, and actually piecing additional blocks together. So, which I hope helps with these kind of little types of piecing tips. I don't know about you guys, but... Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is you're going to want to stitch right through this intersection right there of that X of the stitching, the white stitching line. So I'm gonna bring my ruler right here and we are gonna go ahead and lay this right here. And I'm gonna actually mark this line and it's gonna look really gruesome and like obnoxious and, and not really sacred on our gorgeous quilting fabrics, but um, but right here, right along the stitching line is where I'm going to stitch that quarter inch seam and then make sure I kind of cross where those two lines intersect right there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let me go ahead and I can put a pin in this and, but you can see that there's just a little bit of extra peach fabric shown right through on this side versus this side right here. And that's gonna give me a little bit more of a squared up block. And something I didn't share is then when I finish any of my blocks, I square them up to the finished size. And let's talk about that for a minute. So, um, well, the unfinished size, I, which for new quilters, that can be hard to understand. So um, let me go ahead and show you. In the pattern, these are all six and a half inch blocks. So here's the flying geese portion. So it says right here, unfinished is six and a half by six and a half. 
finished a six by six inside your finished quilt, okay? But when you're done with the block, you need to square the block to six and a half inch six and a half inches square. So you always want to square up your blocks along the way. And this is what I'm going to be making with, this is the Live Well, Live Strong quilt, but this one right here is what I'm gonna be making with negative space. And this is, um, so I'm gonna be putting lots of extra white fabric in here so that it's just got lots of negative space and it has a modern look to it. And then I'm also making this black and white one too. And then more of the colorful ones. I am also making a really beautiful gift card because we have some people um, that are making these as wedding gifts or as graduation gifts. Um, this quilt, we are having people, I have, my sewing machine is like, what's it doing? I don't know. It's kind of being persnickety with me, but that's okay. It's almost the end of the evening. Okay, so there we go. So let's go ahead and just trim this off and let's open this up and see what kind of match we had. So let's look at where that stitching line is. So even if I have imperfect blocks, I absolutely, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So that's a pretty good match right there. So you can see on that flying geese block. So with a little bit of forethought, we can sure uh, make that work. And then you can see where I had a little bit of extra peach in there of this fabric. So these are definitely important things that you wanna do as you're creating your blocks. And then this, I then want to take this and square it up. So where's my square ruler? I love, I love to square up with square rulers, but you can really square up with any ruler. Okay, here it is right here. It's amazing just all the little mini things I have on my, on my, oh, I need to press this first. Let's give it a little press, okay? And one thing that you can do is press your seams while they're, while it's closed like that to just set your seams and then go ahead and press it open. So I'm kind of doing a double press there. And then another thing that I do when I press and I can show, I'll do a little short form video, is sometimes I press it and then I set a square ruler over my block like this to just get it really flat. And then I put actually, let me show you, I put the end of my iron on top of it after I've, after I've stitched it like that to get a really good flat block. Um, let's see here, I have a six and a half inch ruler. Yeah, I love, you know, square rulers and, Anyways, they're handy to have, but you can very easily lay this down on your cutting mat and just use a really basic ruler too. You don't need fancy, fancy tools to do it all. So that's a really beautiful block. Let's go ahead and bring this back up so that you guys can see. Oh, let me make sure that this is straight on there again and bring that up. So this is the Live Well, Live Strong quilt. And we have some someone making it for someone that's um, graduating from nursing school and they're doing it as a graduation gift, they're doing it as a wedding gift. Um, one gal is actually, um, has got lung cancer and she's got two daughters and she's making two of these quilts because she wants to leave something really special for her daughter. So we've got a whole bunch of people that are making this quilt that have got some really beautiful, unique um, stories. And, and I love how I get the opportunity to grow with all of you guys. And I I hope you guys can feel the courage to post um, pictures of your finished blocks and then maybe what you're working on that week. So remember, um, just real fast and I'll declare the winners, that we've got worksheets on each week. So we've got like a positive worksheet, a fuel worksheet, um, mindful worksheets, leisure worksheets. The freedom worksheets are going to go up very quickly in the link. Um, last week's block is positive, so in the description of YouTube, you'll see the link for the positive block. You'll then see links for all the other blocks too, and you can go in and download it. Um, you can purchase the Live Well, Live Strong pattern. So the pattern is here that you can purchase and you have supporting um, live videos each week that get posted to teach you how to go ahead and make it. But it's a very empowering quilt, I think, for women with the different topics of the blocks all the way from home hope to healing, strength, and shine. And um, next week, 
weeks is going to be self-care. So be sure to subscribe to Stitches Quilting um, on YouTube and turn on the little alarm so it gives you a notification when I go live. You can also subscribe on um, Stitches Quilting at, on Facebook. Um, and we are sharing the quilt blocks on Facebook in the Everyone Can Quilt group. And we're sharing the quilt blocks on Instagram with the hashtag. You can use it on Facebook or Instagram. Um, live well, live strong quilt. So you just use that hashtag and then you can see other every, everyone else's blocks that feel comfortable sharing. But I do have prizes for people that are sharing their blocks and feel comfortable with that. So you know what, Liz, this has been empowering for me and you are someone that empowers me and um and yeah all of you guys do I mean all of you guys are just a huge impact on me and my family and everybody else and I'm just so grateful for it I really really am and I'm so grateful for our stitches quilting team and everything that we get done hi Nina I love you I love all of you guys so anyway so let's go ahead and get a winner and I hate choosing Corey is here but he's building something out there because I broke something today. So let me go ahead and look. Um, you guys, I just feel so bad. Um, oh my gosh, I love all of you guys. Um, I can't choose a winner. This is not fair. Well, okay, let's go ahead and do, um, let's do Alma, Alma Rast. Okay, these are our winners on Facebook. This is our winner on Instagram. And let's go ahead and choose two winners for YouTube. So, and you need to let me know, so Alma Rast, and I'll choose someone else, but you need to let me know which of these little tote bags you want and then direct message me or email me your email address or your mailing address. So Alma Rast, and I do ship internationally, so it's not like just to the United States. And, oh, Liz, I don't wanna tell what it broke. But I, I, um, okay, Alma, you want that one. I love this one. Yeah, sorry for the words I said when I broke something that was really expensive today. But I found out that I had a warranty, so that was really good. And I fixed it. But it took a lot of energy out of me for, you know, I was trying to do something last minute. I learned a big lesson. So um, how about, let's see here. You guys, it's so hard. But I, I know some of you guys are getting prizes because you guys have been, um, posting your blocks. So I'm kind of saving some stuff for some of you guys. Um, let's see here. Wait. So why don't we go ahead and go with Teresa McBrayer. And then, because I know some of you guys are actually posting your blocks and I've got some prizes for, wait, Teresa McGregor. I want to make sure I have McBrayer. Sorry. Okay. So message me your um, email address. So I have our winning people on these little pieces of fabric. Isn't that a great use of our fabric scraps? Okay, I'll stop being silly, but I love you guys tons. Um, I can't tell you how much I feel empowered, empowered but, but having freedom in our lives is really important. Um, you, if you think of the extreme, we could be in jail. And by making choices, we end up kind of losing freedom sometime. But we can also improve our freedom by making good choices with our health or with any of those things like that too. So think about ways that we can improve our freedom. I will have a freedom worksheet for you that's a personal worksheet for you guys to work through and to just think of different goals and different things. Um, tomorrow I have some uh, blog posts that are due that are with Cricut. And so I'll be doing a live video tomorrow with for Cricut. So, um, and that is a guarantee. I'm serious. So, um, that one is coming out tomorrow. And so I'll be on live and there'll be a, a blog post that will be published with that. And I'll show you how the Cricut cuts and works and does some things that we did for the baby shower. So, and maybe I can see if we can get the baby in the video. We'll see. Baby. All right, you guys, I love you guys tons and we'll see you guys later and, and keep making all of your blocks and I just love everything that you guys are posting or even if you're not making the quilt, po post the different things that you're working on just so we can inspire each other and become better people. But you guys call me, message me on live chat on my website or go ahead and, um, oh, Teresa, you can email me at deanna at stitchesquilting.com with your contact information so that I can get this emailed to you and um, or get this um, shipped to you. So um, just go ahead and email me there because there, there isn't really a private messaging thing through YouTube. So I just don't want you guys posting your 
your addresses <laughs> publicly. So anyways, I love you guys tons and we've got more winning people coming because you guys have been posting all of your beautiful blocks and all your beautiful fabric. So love you guys tons. I'll see you a little bit later and you guys have a good evening and remember live well, live strong. Next week is self care. So it's going to be a fun week, but freedom, we can't forget about freedom. All right, you guys have a good night. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.